this video I'm going to share with you all how to install FSR 3.1 frame generation into the first Berserker Kazan on the Steam Deck to improve your FPS and performance. And if you enjoy this video, please leave me a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share this video with others. From desktop mode, we want to access our web browser and come over to the DLSS Enablers GitHub page. Scroll down until you see releases and we want to click this here and we'll be taken to the main releases page. We want to scroll down until we see this one here, 3.03.000.0 trunk. Make sure it's this version that you're on. We want to scroll down to Assets and we want to download DLSS Enabler Setup.exe, making sure it's the latest trunk version. In our Downloads folder, we want to right click on an empty space, choose Create New Folder. We want to press the X button and we want to rename this to DLSS. Press Enter and close the keyboard. Afterwards, we want to right click on the DLSS enabler setup and select Add to Steam. And next, we want to go to Steam on our taskbar, select this and choose Library. And in Steam, on the left hand side, we want to search for DLSS by pressing X with our Steam keyboard, searching for this, selecting the setup, pressing the cog symbol, properties, compatibility, and we want to assign Proton Experimental. Close the window and go ahead and press play. When the setup loads, you'll notice that your trackpad is no longer working. We can just hold down the Steam button to activate this again. Choose I accept and next, next, and here we want to select browse. Choose our Z drive. We want to select Home, Deck, scroll down slightly, select Downloads, and choose DLSS folder, the one that we created earlier. Press OK and Next. On this page, we want to make sure that we choose version.dll, select Enable Support for AMD and Intel GPUs, and by default, this should be selected as well. Install XESS and FSR replacements. 0.7 Optiscaler will be selected. And once you've made sure all three of these are selected like so, press Next and Install. Once the install finishes, you'll see an error message on your taskbar. Just press OK, uncheck the README and Finish. Now still in Steam, we want to navigate to the first Berserk Kazan. Select the cog symbol, properties, and for our launch options, we need to make sure the following command is typed exactly as shown. Wine DLL overrides in capitals equals quotation mark version equals n comma b quotation mark space and Steam Deck with a capital S and D, or one word, equals zero, space, percentage, command, percentage. I have linked this in the description for you to easily copy and paste also if required. Once that's done, close the window and press the cog symbol again, manage and browse local files. Here we'll be taken to the main directory of where the game is installed. And for efficiency, we first want to go inside Engine, Plugins, Runtime, NVIDIA, DLSS, Binaries, Third Party, Win64. And this NVNGX DLSS file, we want to right click and copy. Then we want to go back to the main First Berserk Kazan directory, go inside the BBQ folder binaries win64. Here we want to paste our nvngx dlss file like so. Now we want to go to our downloads folder 
and we want to go inside our DLSS folder that we created earlier. Here you'll see all of the mod files that we've just installed from DLSS Enabler. We want to highlight all of these files like so, right click and copy, and go back to your Win64 folder for the game. Right click and paste all of these items like so, selecting apply to all on our AMD Fidelity FX DX12 and overwrite. Now once all of those files have been copied successfully, we want to scroll down until we see nvngx.dll, which is 185 kilobytes. We want to right click on this file and delete. Afterwards, we want to find our nvngx.dlss.dll file that we copied earlier. Right click, copy, and right click and paste. Here, we'll be asked to rename the file, and we want to get rid of underscore DLSS, press the X button, backspace, enter, and close the keyboard. And we should have renamed our duplicate to nvngx.dll. Once you've performed all of those steps exactly as shown, simply return to your desktop and return to gaming mode and launch the game. Once you're on the main menu, let's go to our settings and on our graphics tab, we want to scroll down until we see all of our advanced options which were previously locked earlier. Here we'll see DLSS, FSR2 and XESS available to us. So we want to select DLSS, which is actually FSR 3.1 I'm going to choose DLSS Quality Mode, which will be FSR 3.1 Performance. And we want to enable Frame Generation, which will also be FSR Frame Generation. Press Y to apply changes. I'm going up to our main graphics. I'm going to select the preset and choose Low. Go back and let's continue. Now we're in game, we can see that our FPS is much higher than before, almost hitting 160. And what we can do is lock this to 90 FPS by pressing the right quick access menu button, going to our performance tab, and disabling disable frame limit by toggling this off. If you're on an OLED Steam Deck, this will lock the frame limit to 90 FPS, and if you're on an LCD Steam Deck, this will lock it to 60. So if you enjoyed this guide and learnt something new today, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share this video with others. You all have a wonderful day, look out for one another and I'll see you later.